Hello everyone and welcome back to Oak Street City Zoo. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are back in the franchise mode and today it's all about uh, fixing the money problems because we are running towards bankruptcy quite uh, efficiently if you ask me and that is the wrong thing to happen. You can see that the money went uh, significantly down and we are losing quite a chunk of money like we are losing approximately 10k in a minute so that means if I would keep the game running at the end of this episode we would actually be bankrupt and since we don't want this um, I will be doing a one new habitat and then um, we are moving on anyways before we do so let me first of all thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always if you guys like the content and you want to subscribe again um, that would help me out a bunch so I would really love if you guys could do that um, but yeah today we are starting with something I um, um, yeah, first of all, I've got to say a big props to Mr. Paul Slay, who's who's done a tutorial on, on what we are doing today. Um, and this is going to be, very interestingly, um, the... And I do have this long, long straight road here. I'm going to continue that straight road. Um, we are going to start the land of the waters, so to say, today. So we are starting the aquatic lands. I just, you know, because of my aquarium in Yosemite, in case you haven't seen that... Um, you will find the link in the description as always, but also I'm going to link this in the info bubbles. Uh, we are going to make sure that we have something very cool aquatic today here with the hippo habitat, which we're going to do. And we are using the little trick that, uh, yeah, Paul just showed. And also I have to say again um, that I am a big fan of uh, just making sure that we have a lot of, uh, yeah, um, crazy stuff going on with water, just because at the moment I am, well... Like, let's say I'm I'm a little bit not concerned, but I'm yeah I want that you know I, I really just want that this game is moving forward in the way it deserves it. So um, I'm really looking into hopefully having uh, a good time also in the future with Planet Zoo. But therefore they really have to bring something new in, and you know that's also the reason why I'm just keeping myself challenged with building uh, yeah just building these. Um, and these aquatic things here because I just think that this will um, help a lot. So let's just do this a little bit uh, less, I guess we can. Is that already working? Oh wait, I should have. Ah, uh, okay, that was minus. That was stupid. Okay, let's bring this up again. And yes, we have to go to minus. That is stupid. Um, and then let's see, where are we? Where are we, guys? We have to just basically bring this in here and then just go to, I don't know if 12 is enough, but we're just going to do it that way and then uh, drag it all the way up. Okay, so where is the... Wait, where are we there? I just need to make sure that we are... Okay, so we need to keep a little bit down there. So just to make sure it is really low. So there you go. Um, I think this is just fine. And then we're just going to, you know, use that technique. I will show you the trick and I hope that I remembered that correctly. So we're basically just building a little bit of a, a water volume where we want to have the hippos uh, swimming along later on. So this is going to be the um, hippo swimming area, if you will. And yeah, I'm not sure if, if it will work the way I want it to. I might have started a little bit too high even. Uh, but no, looking at that, that's just fine because the water level will be pretty flat down here. Um, so we are going to have this uh, working, I guess. So just making sure that this is all pretty nice already so that's kind of cool and what we do we just put the water in right over here so just very much here so let's see which height it is it's still kind of high though but i think it's fine um if we do it that way we will raise actually the whole area in the back here so that the that the aquatic stuff the land of the aquatics is starting here with a little tunnel that you're gonna move in um but yeah so what we need to do now we're just going to use the stamp tool again and then what we will do, we're just gonna make the width all over here and then just uh, getting rid of what we can. So there you go. Just making sure that all this is away already. And I'm not sure if uh, this will be enough, but we will we will be able to tell in a few seconds. So let's just do all of that. So this is the preparation you have. And now you can actually have the pathing to do its magic. Oops. Um, and you have to enable, I think it's the auto tunneling. Uh, tunneling, there you go. Um, and then, no, it wasn't the tunneling. Was it flattened terrain? One of these things I always keep forgetting. So, flattened terrain. Was it that one? Maybe it's not high enough. So, we're going get, to get here. Uh, wait. So, let's let's see. No, that doesn't work. But I think it might have been tunneling then. Nothing like that. All right. I just, I don't know. The game was just like kind of doing weird stuff to me. 
but now as it works, it's all fine. So it was definitely tunneling and what we are doing right now, we are just getting rid of this all here. Um, you can see I'm not still not high enough, so we actually need to go a tad bit higher here. Let's just do it again so that we really go to the height that we can actually, I mean, does this even work to the lower parts? I'm not sure if this did work to the lower parts already. Nah, I, I gotta have to find like the perfect area. I'm still not sure why this works, to be honest. I, I just saw that Paul, Paul was doing that and I'm I'm still kind of confused why this works, but uh, well, I think we are just using that to our advantage and we shouldn't complain too much about it. So, okay, that doesn't work too much. Like, let's use that one. So is this now the perfect, yeah, that's the perfect height we need to go to. Yeah, you can see, I'm just now destroying basically all the all the stuff in here and it's gonna take a bit um, to do this but um, it's it's very nice to do it because it just as you can see it creates this wonderful actually you know what's actually pretty interesting can I do this I'm just gonna redo it quickly just because I think it might be if I do it that way and I say align to oh well that is pretty handy indeed so yeah, I, I could have just done it this way anyways, but okay. Um, so we do it, we do it just creating like a plaza below here. And then the reason why I'm doing this guys is uh, pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to do this to have the water volume for me reserved so I can do with it whatever I want. So I think we just deleted everything, right? And you can see the water level is still there. It's basically just a texture, which is, um, yeah, kind of wonky, kind of weird, but um, since it works, we're just going to take advantage of it, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm just willing to, to build whatever I can build now. And we are building a underwater tunnel that leads into this area. So you can see when I go with the camera here, you can see that basically nothing happens. If I go a bit up, there you go. I'm in the water volume. Um, so there's just this little shallow bit of the water that goes. I'm quite not sure if the hippos will use it because maybe we need to take another animal into here um, because my, I just remembered that the hippo has the problem that they um, have to walk on the ground. So maybe we have to maybe we have to look a bit into this, um, how we can manipulate that, but um, we will see. Now also what we need to do, and uh, we are basically starting to build this right over here. I'm just going to use plaster, I guess. Um, as always, my, my favorite piece in the game must be the plaster piece. So what we do, we just basically go here and just have a very, very nice little edge that goes over here. There you go. And then let me, is there like a freeform one in here as well? Uh, wait, no, let's go here. Where's the freeform one? There you go. So I'm, I'm willing to have this like a very, very, very subtle way to go in. So there you go. Um, just uh, move it down. I'm not sure if they will uh, will use that and, and you know just go over to this uh, bit. We have to see how they how they will be able to use it or if they will anyways will be able to use it. So um, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. So we don't even have to make it that deep. You know we can actually keep it fairly fairly normal. So like this height maybe that would already be enough. So we can still make sure that the pathway goes below because that's that's easily where then you will bring in the uh, yeah the, the, the glass you can just build that with glass which is which is pretty pretty sick to be honest um, and it was way more easy to to make that to be honest like that was the first time live now with you guys that I made this little trick work um, and that was yeah just as I said easier than I than I actually thought it would be so well that's a good thing I guess now we can actually just bring that over just pretty simply uh, and we just have to test later on if the if the hippo will be able to just walk over here or if this is just going to be a bit of a problematic thing. I'm just gonna see if and how, wait, uh, that, that, that's what we need. Is this, this is kind of like the same, right? Yeah, yeah, I think we can, we can just now bring these ones over to the other side here. Oh, let's, let's just make that a little bit more tight to the side and then just have this one hanging over. Wait, is this even, ah, look at that. It's not even, can I bring this one more back? Is that, that does this work? So if I, so which is the height? This is the height and now we just go all the way here. Yeah, I guess that's working. I guess that's working. And then we are just going to keep it 
Uh, yeah. Somewhat like that, because this will be like the staircase where the people go into the land of the aquatic. And what we will do over here, we will basically adjust the terrain just to that level. Uh, let's have a look. I want to make sure that this is still uh, like this. That's like almost... Wait, this... Yeah, it's perfect. This is perfect, guys. And now what we will do, just to make sure that this is all good looking, we're just going to... Uh, might be a bit too big, though. Uh, there you go. We're just going to flatten this whole terrain over here. Um, and now, as you as you have this, you can actually see that uh, you can manipulate this quite close to the water, even though it's just this little texture. So we are just keeping that over here, to be honest. But um, yeah, for the moment, I'm going to put this here. So there you go. And we're also kind of extruding that a little bit to the side. Because again, this will be the whole, like, so we have a bit more of a terrain variation, uh, variation going on. So we have the Asian Valley that is to this side a little bit lower down. And that area is going to be raised quite significantly. So that the zoo is also a bit more exciting in terms of, you know, heights and stuff. So we are just going to make sure that this works. And sure, we are kind of dropping a lot of, you know, money into this area. But uh, I really hope that this will be worth the effort. And also, what we have to do is um, we have to be a bit more efficient on the building. So what I will do this time, unfortunately, I won't kind of uh, bring in like a little area over here where the people can work. We have to drag the people from here first because otherwise um, the money is a problematic thing. So the only thing I want to put here is like maybe a kitchen, a small one. Um, and that should already be it. But now, you know, you've, you've got, you, you saw how that works. And now we can actually put like a normal pathway down here, which uh, works pretty much easy as you go. So there's not, not a big deal. Um, however, what we will do, we will actually just, oops, uh, path. And then we will select, wait, how can I align to grid? There you go. Um, and we will basically make this like a very nice wide area going through. Is this now... Yeah, that's perfect. And then from over here, I'm going to start now with a very nice elevated staircase. So we have to we have to see how that is working. But what I want to do is like go this way and then always like two of those and then one's up. And then again, two of those and one's up and two of those and one's up. The reason why I'm doing that is um, I can I can show you in a bit. Um, uh, so we can smooth the staircase a little bit out, late, uh, out later on. So I'm just going to always keep this way out. Um, oops, I was one too. Let's um, keep it that way going. It's kind of a nice little trick to make your stairs and stuff not as crazy of an incline. You can basically always use this little tool to your advantage. Now, um, you can do multiple things. You can actually have this really align better over here with the landscaping you can see. But um, so this is a, light, a little bit too much here. So what we do, we just push that a little bit back for the moment being. Um, the rest will be done with scenery anyway. So yeah, we gotta have to, I would love this to be sticking, you know, that you always have this uh, option enabled and then you have to manually disable that, but whatever, for the moment it's not that way. And then basically over here, what we do is we go all the way straight until we are on ground level again. There you go, that's almost perfect. So now as you have connected that, this looks fancy to me like it looks really cool and now we could keep it that way or what we can do you can actually now just delete that bit in the middle and then it just automatically connects so you have like a longer piece of uh, you know this subtle incline and then uh, this is just how it uh, kind of connects together so in case you want to have that you can also do it this way so this is this is how you could make this little ramp go in um, even though it's not a staircase um, as of now that would have been even better um, I was hoping that this creates a little more staircase -y look so what we will do then we just keep it that way I think this looks still better than the normal one so you have this like double stack uh, staircase if the people go up and up here actually you know what we can we can actually do the same pattern as we've done here maybe now just like wait yeah one more and then one two one more and now straighten that up yes there you go this is even better yeah that's even nicer now you have this little step on the back and then it looks fairly decent that looks fairly decent to me and what we will do now is we will basically just cover this entire area up quickly um, I want to make sure that this episode is still in a decent uh, range and therefore I'm going to make like a little cut here guys and I will be focusing now on making this whole thing 
kind of ready, you know, putting some walls in, making the, the glass floor and stuff. And then I'll be back with you and we keep on talking about what and how we do the first habitat for the hippos, uh, which will be a bit tricky because um, since that's the middle piece, um, we will have to decide what is the entrance side and what not. And we are going to create like a little bridge here over the top um, for our wonderful staff members to cross over because otherwise they can't reach this area and we want to give them both sides of the story and then kind of give a house here but you'll be able to see that in a bit so stick with me um you see the cut immediately but i have to build a little bit now so see you in a sec all right everyone we are back and this is uh, the layout how it uh, stands right now you can see that uh, a few things have changed um i have i've done most of the changes here already and you can see that uh, there's also a lot of stuff uh, changed over here so one thing i wanted to use is this wonderful uh, barrier thingy over here and wait a second let me place this just quickly over here so this is going to be very nice because that looks uh, super city vibe i think it's also made by andal and i definitely want to have that one in here so I'm going to fit that right in there and then we are going to just adjust the barriers as it is um, needed so we are going to put one here and we're just going to you know create another one that goes in there and then this is going to be a invisible wall and then we are making this like proper brick and then that looks already kind of cool well, look, actually it looks super cool the only thing I don't like is this one uh, so we're going to do delete this it looks a bit better this way uh, just a tad bit cleaner and then we can later on also adjust all the stuff needed there's also the speaker in here we have that one we can actually put the bee population if we need it um, whatever um, so this is how the setup works and I uh, just as I said I will put down um, since this all is going to be water area I'm going to put down like right over here um, we're going to just um, you know put another staff path here and I'm gonna go for four meters align that to the grid uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm putting a um, transformer and a kitchen right over here now to the sides and then just hoping that this helps and then this will be the connection over here already to the pathway. Um, so we're going to go to facilities and then we just put a, a power. I think we also don't have a water treatment, do we? Like water? Nope. Uh, so we actually also need a water treatment here. So that's hopefully going to be working. So I'm going to put down both. Is that like... Yeah, that's, that's treating the water just fine. And then we can actually put a kitchen just over here to the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do it here. Ah, oh, sorry, I just need to sneeze and I, uh, I, I hopefully I just did uh, mute my microphone in the right second. I'm not sure if I did, but uh, I'm just hoping it was. Okay, so we've got a kitchen here, that should be fine. And now we have to basically build this area a bit nice over here. Um, I'm just hoping for the best that this works. So we are trying now. Uh, both sides have their lovely viewing uh, potential. So we are going to make sure that this is going to be just over here. You know, just like that. And then curl this around. So this is the... No, 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 no. Let me... Yeah, there you go. I just want to make sure that there's a little... Why did I... What is that even? Okay, let's just smooth that out first because... That looks weird. There you go. And then let's go back into the path. And then I'm not sure where I want to go later. So I will keep it the way it is. And then we will put also a lovely little piece of pathway over here. Um, just let me just do it that way, please. And then, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm going to delete the connection anyways. There you go. I just wanted to make sure that this roundish bit just connects nicely over there. Um, and now i should have okay well that should still work if i align that to the grid yeah i want to make this go straight through for the moment uh but just exactly for this so that we have like a nice connection to both sides there you go and now we can basically delete this middle bit awesome look at these looks good we can also smooth this a bit here and we can potentially also smooth that now what you will see over here guys is you actually see like a little gate um right over here and these two gates should work for our wonderful staff members because um they should fit through the gate while the hippos shouldn't and so the hippos can actually swim around if they need to um and uh, the keepers can just walk through there i mean at least that's my idea of it now as we've done that we have to test it the only thing i'm not sure is if they can basically traverse over here or if we need to give them uh like a like a f glass flooring where they can go over but like this is the proper thing we have like we have to make sure that the lower side looks a bit better though but um yeah for the moment we're keeping it this way and we are going to see i have no idea if i do have hippos already 
in uh, my uh, storage. I mean, I do have a lot of animals in here that we need to sell at some point. Uh, we've got a lot of crocs over here, saltwater crocodile. I put them out because they were actually costing us too much. Look at that, we have one. So this is awesome. Um, so we need at least, no, uh, well, there's a German word slipping in. We at least need just one male hippo, which is good because that is easy on our money. Um, but yeah, so let's go for the hippopotamus. Uh, where is the hippo? Hippopotamus, there you go, filter. And let's have a good look onto a male one. That's not too bad though. What about you? Ah, that is bad though. Now ah, we have to get you. Ah, the money. The money, guys, the money. Okay, so we have to bring someone over. The only thing is, do we still have like an un unemployed, I want to say, but like a keeper who is not in a work zone yet? So first of all, I'm going to create a new work zone, which is going to be no staff room here. Yeah, well, I'm going to add this staff room and uh, wait, this, yeah, that should be fine. Staff room, yeah, we have a few more in. Okay, so this is the hippo for the moment. Um, and I'm just like looking into if there is one free, oh, actually two. Uh, you know what, they two get into the hippo then. I want to have two in here just to make sure that this works. So these two should go for hippo and then stuff is going to be delivered. So this is this is what happens over here. I love that. This is great. We are going to make the habitat look good in a, in a bit. Um, but yeah, we will also put a lot of those things down already uh, just to make sure that we do not lose a freaking cent. Uh, of these animal uh, of these people come and hopefully throwing the money at us I really hope they do because that's what we need. We need we need a lot of money guys I don't want to go bankrupt in the zoo because I like the zoo quite a lot I mean there are a few things I can change I can get rid of the uh, of the meat-eating animals, you know because th these are most likely the ones that uh, annoy us the most in terms of money um, and also staff costs are insane so we can actually also I did already fire quite a few um, so that is a uh, that's definitely a thing, but um, I'm still, I still didn't make the turnover, so I definitely have to change this again. Um, let's see if the animals are delivered. Uh, they should be being delivered in a bit. Um, let me just quickly check. Animals. We should have the two hippos now in our zoo. There you go. Trade center. Why are those two in a trade center? See, that's something I can't really understand because <clears throat> the connection is definitely done. And they should definitely be able to get there. So, oh wait, I am stupid. I am just stupid, guys. There you go. Now they shall be delivered. Um, yeah, money-wise, you can see it slowly goes up. But then again, it the, the kind of uh, cost for staff and energy and stuff crashes in. And that is basically where we lose all the money. On this topic though, we can already look into finances and see where the biggest issue is. So you can see we are not as much going into the problematic thing. Um, but yeah, so we have the income is not like crazy. So what we can do, we can actually also increase the, the prices in our shops a little bit. It's going to be raining in a bit, by the way. Um, we can also delete this thing. We don't need this. You know, everything that costs us money is not a good thing. So we can actually make the water quite a bit more expensive because people seem to to drink a lot. So we are going to make this all more expensive. And Mexcelente can also be a tiny bit. Dangerous animal has escaped. Uh, how on earth did you do that? I'm not sure exactly how you did this, but um, I think I even don't want to know. Uh, where is the other one? You're here. Let me show and have a look if you can. Why can you go onto the roof? I am confused. How do you get there and why? Um, is this like, do they climb from the inside? That was never happening before. Um, okay, I, I, got, I got to quickly monitor that. So what's that though? Is this like, uh, this is like a pillar. Can they climb this pillar? I have no idea. I'm just going to drag that down. Um, okay, so let me quickly put like a, we're just going to put like a wall on top here, which they can hopefully not. I mean, I, I just want to check, you know, I just want to check if that is the problem. So it's going to look ugly AF, but I, I just want to see if that's the, if that's the issue. Let's have, let's have a look. Because if that works, we are just going to put something else there, which is hopefully making them uh, not go there. But I have a feeling that this is mostly... All right, wait, 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 wait. I'm just going to do that. 
recalculate. Okay, no, that's fine now. That's all fine. Good. Okay, so I, I really was a little bit afraid. Okay, so hippos are there. Let me just pause the game because you can see how much money we are losing. We still have to look into that. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, lovely, it works. Oh, that is so cool, guys. This is so amazing. Okay, so as this is working, we have to make sure that we do have a lot of stuff uh, in here. So make them happy. Uh, why? What, what's a social problem? Social? Adult population? But there are two. Oh, isn't that a, an adult? Wait, they're both adults, so why? You need three, do you? Two, f no, but there are two. Okay, you need more. Wait, I am confused. I thought the hippos were... Okay, well, I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. Habitat space-wise, is that fine? Uh, plant, temperature, social space is... You kidding me? Oh, the swimmable area is too less. I mean, we can, we can, del yeah, well, we can actually give them another pond in the back here. Or like in the front. Why not in the front, you know? Okay, you know, this is, this is pretty simple stuff. We will do this right now. So, give me the barrier and then, I mean, I want them to swim here, to be honest. Um, just for the guest, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna give them the pond in the back here, right? So, we are going to do this. We are going to make like another lovely pond. I mean, as we are doing that, we can, yeah, just just delete this, just delete that. And then what we are doing, we are basically now, I mean, you know what? Okay, so if they are so needy, we are doing the following. We are just going to bring that here, right? And then we are going to uh, delete all that stuff over here. This is all not necessary stuff now. And we are bringing this one now in with a glass barrier. There you go. And then we are rotating that, making that a little bit wood longer, I was about to say. Can you just rotate the other right way? There you go. But I, can I, yeah, well, I'm going to go straight first and then let's do this roundish thingy here. There you go. There you go. And now we are, oops, that was one too much. And now we are just going to select all of that stuff and we're just going to move it all the way up. There you go. And now I shall be possible to just connect those two. Grande. This is awesome. And what we will do now, we will just, you know, um, give them, give them like the nice little flat entry into this area. And um, well, basically, I think it's not going to work if I do it that way. I just need to make sure that flatten this stuff here to the foundation. Um, how do I... How do I get this connected as... Uh, oh, wait a second. That still won't work, right? If I put the... Yeah, yeah, because of because of that area. So what I have to do... Uh, I'm going to deal with that quickly. Um, I'm going to put another wall... Wait. I wanted to just have another wall go here. And we're just going to drag that all the way into there. Great. I'm gonna have to cover this up somehow, but um, actually, you know what? No, I could actually do this like this. I'm just gonna move this here, and then we bring the other bit just very shortly. Wait, here, I guess. That should be all good. And now let's just drag it all up. And now, if I'm not completely wrong, I should be able to push that a little bit back again because we don't need this. Wait, is the is there like the glass thingy? Yeah. So that should work now. If I now say water, there you go. This works perfectly fine. And we're just going to give them a bit of a more terrainy area in here. And then it's everything for the guest, guys. Everything for the guest. And now we're just going to edit this whole thing over here and dragging it all the way down. And I'm just, okay, well, I'm going to start with this one then. I can't disrupt lake placement. Are you kidding me? Is it that, that one on this side? What about here? Okay, I can't, I can't drag this one as much down as I want. Okay, so let's just see if I can provide this a little bit better like this. You know, wait, can we just, can we just change that pillar? Can we still bring the water in? Yeah, lovely. Lovely stuff. So what about now? Can I change this now? I can't change this anyway, so we're going to change this uh, right. 
So I can't change this one. I mean, it's not, you know, it's, it's not a big issue. I can, I can still just change it accordingly if I want. Um, and just put a wall in or something. I'm, I'm not too worried about this, okay? I'm not too worried about it. It's fine. It's all fine. So I'm going to drag all of that down. And over here, we're just going to do this. And now we shall be able to bring the water in. Yes, there you go. And I guess this is like uh, the perfect size we need. Let's have a look. Are you happy about this? Are you happy about this now? Yes, you are. Okay, so you don't have a hard shelter. We're gonna deal with this because my people, my people give me all the stuff, you know, and then we will have, I, I figure we have a bigger shelter. We had this one in here, here. This is the, I mean, this should definitely work. So we're gonna put this down just so you are happy because that's like an elephant one, but um, that should be definitely the best one for the hippo anyway. So let's have a look if you are happy with the hard shelter now. Indeed you are. Okay, so let's now just quickly check that they have, okay, they need more rock um, and they can also have a lot more short grass. So this is definitely needed because look at, look at all the madness over here. This is all too blah, I don't know, you know. And then we are just going to give them all the rock they need. Does underwater calculate too? No, I guess it doesn't. Um, what about here? Is this giving them rock? Yeah, look at that. Terrain is finally done. Awesome. I mean, down here we will also do... Okay, I think it looks a bit weird. So, actually, let me just give the smooth rock over here. That looks better. And then we will have to make this look nicer um, by building some stuff. We can also give them some sand, you know. I like to, to give them some sand in between here. Same here. There you go. And then we go and say hippo. And no blueprints, please. And then we are just going to give them like a rubbing pillar here. Um, they've got the tire, another tire, a sand marker on this side and on that side, and also like a grazing feeder. And obviously with the normal feeder, that one goes, I mean, that one can actually go here. So there you go. And now we should be able to just hit play and that should actually work. And hopefully that's going to bring people uh, over here uh, to, to give us all the money. And if not, um, we definitely have to look into... Uh, a lot more exhibits soon so that we make all the money with the exhibit animals So we will basically make like a money printing machine of exhibit animals um, That's the only chance we have to make sure to keep the money coming in um, Because as at the moment as you can definitely tell there is no money coming in um, but since We did a fantastic job on that so far. I'm just going to plop down a lot more bins now because we all know that people love to bring the trash anywhere so yeah, I'm just gonna put this all down. And while we're doing so, I'm also going to make like this area long grass so it looks a bit nicer. I'm just gonna put like also a few trees and stuff here. Oh, while, while we do this, can we just check quickly what kind of uh, plants they like? So Africa, grassland, aquatic. Okay, let's have a look. So habitat and then we say biome, grassland and aquatic. Uh, oops, that's not this. And we say Africa. We say Africa. I mean, no bamboo, um, but uh, yeah. So actually, you know, I like this tree a lot, so we can we can use that one um, because we have to still think about the fact that this is still unfortunately within the habitat, so we can't use too many different trees. So I'm gonna put this one here down because I think that looks good. Um, yeah, these ones don't work over here. This one would also work, but I don't want to overdo it. We will do some, you know, we will do some. Uh, some trees and stuff and some rocks in the next episode and making sure that everything looks kind of nice but I again I just don't want to overdo it uh, as of now and uh, you can see how the rain just now hopefully stops in a bit I can see it's getting brighter again um, yeah people coming over here which is not good because this is where we can't really put down any donation bins that's unfortunate so can you please move up here and then just uh, yeah lovely lovely stuff guys i'm not sure if we're making money that looks good uh, a little bit more promising right now but um our facility is still broken down vet research is done good okay i mean we survived we are not uh, below 400,000 so far this is like the i think the magical barrier will be 200k uh, as soon as i'm under 200k i need to invest all the time to only 
save up on that. But guys, look at look at this. We we made the madness work. Um, we have this wonderful underwater tunnel over here. Um, the hippo is just passing by now, so we can actually be very happy that we achieved this. And it looks actually kind of cool. Like with the stairs going up, people can look from below and you can actually see the hippo now passing by. So this is like a very nice underwater viewing, as you can see. Um, now the hippo is just walking past and uh, yeah, Paul Slay. Mate, you, you just smashed it with this wonderful tip. It's actually super cool. Uh, you can you can definitely be proud of uh, proud of you showing that to us because again that looks that looks just that stellar. I mean the light is a little bit bad over here. I would love to Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> I mean it's it's kinda weird because you you're not assumed to have it that way, I guess. But they're just like walking over here. It's very nice. Like you you do have this wonderful view, but now I, yeah, well, I have to, I have to kind of find a better screenshot of that because as of now that, wait, is there like a, there's like a glass piece missing, right? Oh yeah, look at that. This was also making it look a bit weird. So there we go. Let's plop that in. So here you go. Um, I think it's looking kind of nice. It's looking really cool, guys. Uh, this is our wonderful uh, hippo uh, habitat with the underwater viewing. It's looking really cool. The hippos can pass by. It's all good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Again, a little reminder, and I want to keep that to the end of the episode because I didn't want to annoy you. Um, in case you like the, the content, uh, please consider subscribing. That really helps me out a lot. And now I really wish all of you a wonderful time and a wonderful weekend. Have a good one. And also, if you want to check out some Minecraft stuff, I have a good new video on there. Um, maybe makes sense for you to check that out. But until then, have a great time, everyone. And goodbye.